Well, hello there, YouTube. And welcome to a cool 58 degree, uh, when, oh, good Lord, it's Wednesday. Wednesday the 26th of July, it's hump day already. I hear our neighbors out there with tractors. I don't know if they're about to plow stuff up or what's going on. They're up to something. But uh, it's beautiful out here. I don't know what the temperature's supposed to be today, but it is cool and comfortable this morning. Very pleasing. All right, let's get this Wednesday rolling. Mama, kind of packed in here this morning. Yeah. Holy moly. Or a sardine up Yeah. Perfectly blue skies, not a cloud up there. 69 mm -hmm. degrees. Harvey. It may turn around and be a warm one today. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be like 83, 84. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's warm. Good. Yeah, that is warm. Warm and very su survival. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, it's hump day. It is. Let's go in there and bust her out. Alrighty. All right. Have yourself a wonderful day. You too. All right. Love you. See you. Bye. I love you. Um, bye bye now. Bye. All right. So I got you a, a little treat today. A Riker 900. Um, I guess she was in here recently in a, and we did the 6,000 mile service on it. And uh, she said shortly after that, when it gets hot, and she shuts the thing down, it won't start back up. So let's go get it hot. <laughs> I have had it on the bench and you know, it wasn't a, a perfect check because you know that you gotta ride them, get them to full temp, but I let it warm enough that the uh, fan cycled and I did a uh, oil check and it's literally just, it couldn't be any more perfect. It's just a skosh under the full mark, but once I get it hot, oil expands and it'll uh, should be right on but there is no codes there's nothing nothing weird that I can see at all Woo! 900 boy so this thing's got a backrest the BRP backrest that I don't think that thing was even available when I I had my rally and um, so I'm moving the thing outside and, and uh, it's kind of half talking to because Tim my co-worker they're gonna fast track him through uh, through BMW and literally he's going to school his flight to New Jersey um, for the first two weeks is the day I take off on uh, on my trip to uh, Utah and Colorado. So, uh, hope that doesn't cause any conflicts. But I guess it's not, it's not dying or anything. It just, it gets hot and it won't restart. It says it takes a couple hours for it to restart. That's not good. That's not good or at all. We'll see. It hasn't been that long since I ran it. The temp's already at half, halfway there. I thought it was long enough it had cooled off by now. Of course, it's sitting outside in the sun. You gotta watch these solid phone mounts. Um, we've had a couple of the guys at work um, on their Grom. I don't, Grom doesn't ride any rougher than anything else. I mean, I guess you can horse around on it, but they've uh, taken their cameras out of their phones. The thing's shaking so bad it takes it you lose the uh, optical um, stabilization it just shakes it to death but uh, you know, varying different years and models of iPhones I don't know about anything else nobody nobody has there's one of the managers that has a Android phone but he also carries a uh, <laughs> an iPhone with him he, he's a two phoner like myself The uh, Android one, <clears throat> the company supplies, and the iPhone is his. So they're, they've all switched to that quad lock system that kind of has a lock similar to that. But uh, they buy, buy the uh, uh, vibration little thing that sits on it. 
and they're wired well not on the groms but uh they're they got ones on their regular street bikes that are you know they're the wireless charging thing i was looking at at one of those but our uh we don't get it through our dealer network so i'd have to buy it off the street like a normal person <clears throat> Well, that's cool Tim's going to BMW perfect fit I don't know how all the training is at Harley Davidson but I can tell you the values that they put into their technicians is unbelievable and that's like a perfect fit for BMW and uh, he's telling me and all the different stuff went through training at, at Harley and stuff it I said man sounds like you went to BMW W school. There's no excuse for anything shy of perfection. That's why they do as well as they do. But I said, yep, you'll fit right in the BMW. But the BM the BMWs, as you all know, are very, very computer intensive. You know, everything. I mean, you can't even do a service while hooking it up to diagnostics, you know. You can. You'll just get <laughs> warnings all the time. Warning, service due. Plus, nowadays, they're, they're just a rolling ball of a computer. So anything that goes wrong, you just hook them up and they pretty much tell you, or at least point you in the right direction. Then, then you got to use your uh, your mad diagnostic skills to sort it from there. Because sometimes, and they'll teach you. Oh, they'll do some crazy test at school for you, where you they create a problem and they don't tell you anything. Just figure this out man they come up with some whoppers but yeah the diagnostic can clearly lead you in the wrong direction everything's pointing towards this being the problem then if you spend too long you'll hear him you know talking to students and he's going go over there and he goes I know it <laughs> good Lord, I think he really likes himself a Riker. That boy's gonna grow up being a Riker Spider fan. But yeah, he fits in perfect. Can't believe how well Harley training was. You know, another thing too, you know, he's about, I don't know, around 10 years younger than me. And, uh, you know, most people our age, you know, have been in motorcycles since you're a little kid. And, uh, you know, you had the, the mechanical aptitude to work on things way before you ever became a, a technician. So you've already, you know, self-taught yourself some some values as it is, you know. You know, nowadays, you know, people, you know, one day they're they got their uh, their peace pipe in front of them and see a commercial come on TV and go, yeah, I want to be a motorcycle mechanic. So they sign up for one of those trade school things that. Man, the result of that that we've seen through most of the people is not good. I mean, some of these people don't even have any mechanical aptitude. It's like they can't figure out anything. If the computer doesn't tell them what's wrong, they have no way of di diagnosing it. The simplest things. They just the simplest things. So, you know. Some of them didn't even have motorcycles until they went to school. And while they're at school and wherever, they end up buying a motorcycle, you know. 
everybody's got motorcycles, I decided to have one too. I don't think I can get through here. Yeah, I can sneak through. I don't see it completely blocked off. You're probably wondering why this here reverse trike is cruising through here. What's that boy doing? Just taking my normal test route. That's what I'm doing. You know, at some point on some of these roads I take, you know, you got the two tire tracks that are always on the road because all the cars go down it. At some point, you're going to see three of them. <laughs> from the spiders and from the motorcycles. Well, the motorcycle won't really do that because I usually ride in one of the tire tracks. There can be slickery stuff in the middle. But that's, you notice how that's not much of a thing now? It's all modern cars, they don't leak like a sieve like the old, old ones did. They were in various stages of disrepair. <laughs> I'll do this quick little thing over here today. I'll do something, just mix it up here a little bit. Come on, little Honda Fit. Don't, be, don't throw no fit now. They're cute little things, aren't they? Bus, it's a Honda. I roll behind one and I'm not quite sure where they're going, I don't think. Can you pull out? I guess you can pull out there. Wow, there's always a line of traffic there. I would never go out there. Definitely not take a left out of that thing. I don't think you can, actually. So complex down here. It's always busy. There's all kinds of different things down here. <laughs> yeah, did you see what I just did? I just drove right past my exit out. That was distracted driving right there. That one building, look at that. That thing's together and I don't know, by the looks of it, it's some kind of a shop or something. I don't even know what, what company's there. Not a clue. But it's long since built and operating. Remember when all the rain, the windstorms, those guys are up there doing that roof on that thing. It's like, ooh, that is sketchy. I think this is the last Sea to Sky we sold. Because ever since then, it's been sitting out here. Isn't that pretty? Man, that green is absolutely fantastic. Even locks the steering, that's cool. You know when you lock your steering, that locks your little glove box compartment as well. And if you have the older spiders, it locks your uh, little glove box kind of a thing there too. Unless your cable's popped out up front. If you ever roll your older body style RT back and forth in the air, it's bang, bang, bang when you roll back and forth. That's your, uh, that's your glove block, box lock cable that fell out. <laughs> well, I guess I'll take her back, roll her in the old shop and See if I can start and stop it a few times. I would do it while I'm out here. But I'm afraid it might do <laughs> what they're complaining about. Hey, work. You send a trailer over here. I'm sitting on such and such. I'm on the corner. It's down and it won't go. <laughs> Just like everything in you not to just romp on these things they run so good watch your speed buddy all right well 
thanks for coming for a ride. I believe this is a 22. So it's probably a sport. I don't know. The models, I can't. I know it's a 900 for sure. It's nice. Really nice. I like the Harley mares on there. Uh, those work really well. Because they, yeah, they come with those little round button things on the end. But anyway, thanks for coming along for the rip. Sorry for the air conditioner. The car being in here set the thing off. So I was thinking today I'm going to do this when I get home. I'm going to set up my navigation stuff. How about that? So this will be my view going down the road. And you can look down and see the phone and the Garmin. The phone will be my main navigation for sure. Which that's how I've always done it. I, you know, the Nav 6 for the BMW, the infotainment on the street guides. I never, they're just, I'll leave those running so I can see what's around me in the background. And um, anyway, this can do that. I bought this powered mount with the Garmin. It's USB-A and the stay. And I'm just using a RAM mount stuff. Although I'm missing some of my RAM mounts because all I have is the ones before like that they didn't have the little rubber backing so the hard plastic kind of etches into those very expensive leather apple cases that's my iphone 13 pro max i'm using the 14 now to record this so i went and grabbed that as a stage to how it'll look but um it didn't look too it may i don't know how that's coming across in camera but when i'm sitting here on the bike it uh my view is like i say that and the nice thing about a road king, you can look down and see the road around you. There's no big cockpit of a Cessna in front of you hiding everything. But uh, anyway, what do you think of that? That'll that'll be a sight you will see a lot of here come September. A lot. <laughs> All right, let me go grab one. We're gonna do a goodbye. Start to get kind of dim out there slowly. Well, hello there, YouTube. Hello there, yes, well, hello. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't all come out right. I know. But anyway, it was a nice, productive day, and it was a good day today. The temperatures weren't that bad at all. In fact, uh, no air conditioner on it. We kind of forgot to turn it. We usually, well, it looks like it's going to be warm. We'll turn it on, so it'll be nice and cool when we get home. I kind of forgot yep, that. So forgot. it was kind of hot in there. Yeah, just for a little bit. Open the windows and it kind of cleared itself out yeah. pretty quick. But, uh, yeah, that was good. Got to take a little re hiker for a ride. I've ridden a riker in a while, it seems like. Well, that's cool. Those oh, things are fun. It didn't miss a beat. There's no codes. It turns out the battery had absolutely zero health, had 13.02 volts. 100% charge, zero health. So, uh, yeah, I finally got it to, to act up. And I go, what's going on here? Put the old tester on there. It's crazy. It's a battery. It's crazy how often Fickle that can be. Yeah. Yeah. You but, think it's good because it has 13 volts, but. Yeah, and the fact that it didn't throw any CAN bus stuff, maybe the Rikers just aren't that sensitive. It doesn't start freaking out when it's get low voltage all of a sudden, but that's all it was. Just a battery. Anyway, I think on that, we're going to bounce. Alrighty, well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Thursday or Friday. Heck yeah. All right. We'll see you in the morning. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching, Al. Bye-bye.